right from my last video there's some questions about it and I guess not everybody can go and do it in a tanked up Corvette so I'm going to show you that it's still possible in a you know much lesser ship like this ASP I've just bought this ASP it's got no engineering in it I'll show you how to fit it out first of all uh, two dump fire missile racks nothing else you can't fight any of the shit well I can't I'm elite now and um, I have elite anacondas and FDLs after me all the time I can't handle one of those in this so what I do need is speed to get away from them so utility mounts shield boosters because I'm gonna need to tank those lasers and missiles that come from the base and a chaff launcher for when I get interdicted just to divert some of the fire uh, when they're chasing me uh, core internals um, yeah sorry I need that I mean we'll see how we get on with that um, now I th I'm gonna leave it lightweight uh, I was gonna make it military grade if you if you if you got the money then make it military grade but I think what I've got is enough uh, maximum power plant I know you probably don't need that uh, thrusters you do need uh, 5A frame shift drive yeah it's quite a long way over there so uh, I need a reasonable frame shift drive uh, then lightness for life support um, decent power distributor so that I can get lots of um, uh, boosting when I'm escaping from interdictions and lightweight sensors and the optionals this is where you see some more tanking the maximum shields you can get uh, 5d hull reinforcement now a couple of module reinforcements there you need those really to stop your modules getting sniped another hull reinforcement a cargo rack because you need at least four to um, be able to accept the missions because of the rewards um, if you haven't got a cargo rack big enough to take the reward they won't offer you the mission uh, more module reinforcement planetary approach suite that you know I'm not gonna oh yeah sorry of course you need that um, to approach the planet uh, so that's it so I'll see you over there and uh, we'll see how we get on right here I am at Kagan settlement uh, there is a ship flying around there it's a hauler so I can't believe that he's going to shoot me but I'm in the ASP now so um, I've got to be a bit more careful about taking this fire from the lasers and things now there is a I did forget to mention last time that there's a missile launcher there and um, they, they will fire it at you if you get close enough So I know where the generator is, so if I just point it out, if you look, when you come in, you'll see like lights in a V, and this is the V here from up there and up there. So if you come in from that corner, you should be about right. Now, so you have your, your weapons ready, and the, the missile launcher doesn't launch until you're actually quite close so from here i can get the generator that's it oh no there's, um, did i miss it Take shields offline taking damage oh, i missed the generator Right, so let's get these skimmers. Trespass zone cleared. Warning, you have entered a trespass zone. 
Uh, one thing I also forgot to mention is you have to stay in the trespass zone for a while for the second lot of skinners to, to come. You get a final come up. Once that finds come up. Trespass zone cleared. See, I keep coming Incoming out mission critical message. Mission objective complete. Warning, you have entered a trespass so, zone. I think I've got them all just Incoming now. Incoming mission critical message. Um, so I've still got some missions to complete. So just by staying here fairly close, you'll see the next, I think it's five skimmers come out in a minute. There's the fine. And when it comes up, 300 credits, whatever it is, big deal. Now they'll come out from these things. There they go. Mission objective complete. Incoming mission critical message. Shields online. Mission objective complete. So all of them? Incoming mission critical message. Oh, there's still another one. There it is. Mission objective complete. Incoming that, mission that critical message. So I, I took a little bit of damage. I, I didn't realise this is the first time I used this ship. It seems to be a bit different than my other one. But um, it's because I didn't get the score a hit on the generator straight away. Right, here we are again. <coughs> See if we can get it right this time. So I've seen the the lights, the V. There it is in that near corner now. Just going around a bit. And I'll just about make out the orange of the generator. So I've got my missiles ready. Thunder attack. Warning. You have entered a trespass zone. Yes, it just about kept the shields that time. Probably, uh, I've got class one missiles. This ship, you know, I could have easily managed class two. So that's probably a better idea, I think. I used class one on my Corvette, because that was all that was available when I did it, when I bought them. Yeah, another thing I forgot to mention is that it's killing the, the generator that makes all these stingers complete. spawn. Incoming mission critical message. You normally get the five uh, skimmers, but um, to get all those stingers and the other skimmers, they, they all come from the generators for some reason. So you can get your 12 just in one go like that. So that's it. You know, anybody says it can't be done. You know, I don't know what's the, the matter. Right, here we are again. Third visit in the ASP. You can see the V or the sort of arrow shape of that, of the lights. So it's that point I've got to come in from. So the generator is actually on the other side from the way I'm facing at the moment. Or just, I'm just yawing round with my side thrust. Trying to keep my distance a little bit. I'm watching that I don't sink too low. Seems that when you put your side thrust on, you go downwards all the time. So, first time I messed up and lost my shields last time I just about held on to them see if I can do a bit better this time I 
Yeah, I think uh, a Vulture would be another good ship for this. Because it's quite, can be made quite tanky. You know, if you haven't got a lot of money, that is. The, the first one you can do in a Cobra because they don't shoot back until you've shot them. So you go in their Cobra with two Class 2 um, missiles. You can go right up to it and shoot it. And nobody will shoot you. So you can do about, I think it's about five visits. So that'll do part of your ranking up. Let's get a bit close now. Right, there we go. Under attack. Oh, I've got my guns out. Let's just back up a bit. Oh, they got me now. Warning, you have entered a trespass zone. So, still got one complete ring. There's no ships this time. So, I've seen one hauler. Oops. Right, as I said, if you do see ships that you don't, you don't want hanging around when you're doing it, um, just jump out and jump back again. Trespass zone. Warning, you have entered a trespass zone. So eight. Yeah, four more. Fine. And here come the skills. Mission objective complete. Incoming mission critical message. Here we go. Another easy one. Right, here we are again. Fourth visit. There's a ship down there. Let's see what he is. Cobra. So, mm, I think in another ship, I could probably tank it. But as I've gone right down to one ring in this one, I think I'll use plan B. Oh, he's going. But there's another one coming. So what's the other one? What can I get done before his... Probably an anaconda that's going to get me from behind once I start. <laughs> well, the cobra is gone. So if I'm quick, I need to keep an eye on whatever that is. Where are we? A bit more. Oh, he's red already. It's Python, system defense force. So, just get out of here. Shift drive charging. Four, yeah, I've not seen one three, uh, red before. Two, one, it engage. started anything. So what I do, I tilt up until I just about get that line in in line with that number 19. Somebody's after me bounty now. I don't want to get interdicted too close to the ground. So I'm looking at the distance to Kagan settlement when it gets to 50. 
then what I do, I just simply loop right over. Sl I'll throttle back a bit. And it should be perfectly lined up. for immediate um, drop it into glide. I guess that works at any uh, uh, base. It's a shame we always approach from this side now. So no ships this time. So it should be the same as before. So just your round. Get the missiles ready. I keep forgetting when I'm talking. Oh, hang on. Let's turn that a sidewinder. Well, I'll give it a go. He's probably got missiles or something like that. So I can always jump out if it gets a bit hot. Under attack. Warning. You have entered a trespass zone. So that's it. Get up a bit. So far, the sidewinder's not too good. Incoming mission critical message. Mission objective complete. Incoming mission critical message. Incoming mission critical message. Yep, that's that's it. So that's how to deal with things if the ship is at the base. At the base, you know, as I said before, that um, quite often they don't seem to be bothered by you. I've seen some that looked a bit dodgy, and then uh, let me just navigate, and then they just fly away while you're doing that. So they're nothing to do with it whatsoever. Frameshift drive charging. So I'll see you back at uh, Ozan. Right here we are back in Ozan. You can see since I made my other video. I've probably gone on more than a a billion since then. What was that? Two days ago. Um, I'm making about you know five, seven hundred million a day. Not too sure how many hours that is. Just in the evenings. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, um, I spoke last time about interdictions. Um, I, I didn't voice over them, but I've made some interdiction recordings, which I'm going to tag on to the end of this. The, the procedure that I use is always two pips to um, shields and four pips to engines and always submit a boost, bo uh, chaff if they're firing at you already, boost again and then engage your frame shift drive and, and, you're, and you're away again. Um, some people say you should put four pips to your shields, I say no. Uh, the idea is to get more distance from the, the pursuer because um, the further you are away the less damage his weapons will do. So um, that getting extra boosts in um, gets you further away. 
when they're chasing you like that, they tend not to boost for some reason or other. So uh, it's quite easy to get away from them. You know, two boosts and you're so far away from them that they can't, they effectively can't shoot at you. Uh, even that works really well even in a sidewinder. Uh, really, it's your only way of getting away because you're not going to fight to anything. And if in a sidewinder you put, uh, f especially the basic one, four pips to your shields, you haven't got enough um, recharge in your capacitor to do that second boost, and that leaves you as a sitting duck. So I say definitely don't do it in a sidewinder. But in every other ship I fly, I always put four pips to engines, and I've never taken any sort of damage that's anything to worry about you know might lose one ring on a small ship like this um, that's about the most I've ever done I think one time when I forgot to uh, boost the second time I lost my shields once but that was a lot weaker than, than this one it was an ass but a lot weaker than this so as long as you just boost as soon as you can uh, you get enough distance so watch those videos and you see the the proof so um, I'll catch you in another video then, and um, you know if you have any questions, just ask them in the uh, comments below. I'll try and do my best to answer them. But you can see this works quite well. You know, just just since I've been in this ASP, which I only got for demonstration purposes, it's not engineered in any way. I just knocked up 200 million. Well, that's enough to get an anaconda. And um, when you've got an anaconda and you tank that up. You don't have to worry about the ship's patrolling anymore. You just go tanking in there to just do your business. And uh, la the laser fire from the ships isn't too bad at all. They, they, some of them, some of the eagles you, you get there, and maybe the diamondbacks use missiles, but they're only low-grade missiles. And you keep seeing the booms go up in front of you, which spoils your aiming on the, the skimmers a bit. But they don't really do any damage, so quite easy to tank. Um, the only thing in this one is that because I had the low-grade uh, missiles, it took several shots to get the generator out. And um, so I was taking a little bit of fire from all those lasers before it, it went. And that knocked my shields down a bit. So with a ship attacking me as well, you know, that could be bad. So if I do see a ship there in this one, I think I'd always jump out and come back again. It's a lot easier. A lot, well, a lot, lot safer. just takes a little bit of extra time. At least you don't lose all your missions. You know, you a bit of time against 50 million. I don't know which one I take. Right, anyway, so perhaps I'll see you again. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. Bye then. Right, here you can see uh, four pips to the engines and two to the, the shields. That's a, probably an elite FDL behind me, you know, he's firing whatever. But I'm just too far away from him, you see that plasma missed completely. Um, because I'm probably by now over three kilometres away. So just Four, get the F, uh, frame shift two, drive going. One, engage. I go. This one's the same, submit. Make sure you got your four pips to your engines and two to your shields. Boost. This guy doesn't even get a shot. I'm clear of him. Maybe he was an anaconda. They're pretty slow. Four, three, two, one, engage. That's where you go. 